Hello friends, as part of Cognitive EduPoint online learning program, today we are going to discuss Cope Rearrangement by Arthur C. Cope. Cope Rearrangement is nothing but uh, the 1,5 diene upon heating, it gives 2,6 diene. Since this is uh, pericyclic reactions, especially 3,3 .3 sigmatropic rearrangement. Sigmatropic rearrangement is nothing but there is no change in sigma, number of sigma bonds and number of pi bonds. We can see in the reactant side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 sigma bonds and 2 pi bonds. While in see the product side also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sigma, uh, sigma bonds and 2 pi bonds. So there is no change in number of sigma and pi bonds. So we call this this is sigmatropic rearrangement. Now we will discuss the mechanism of Cope rearrangement. As I already told, this is 3,3 sigma tropic rearrangement because uh, you can see the reagent molecule 1,5 diene. You, we can see here is the bond broken. Okay, so where the bond broken takes place, so that side 1, 2, 3, and uh, this is one of the pi system, and the another pi system also carries 1, 2, 3. We can see. Uh, this is concerted mechanism. Uh, here, the bond broken takes place at C1 of the one pi system and C1 of the another pi system. So here, the pi bond move to here and this bond will broken and this bond pi system move to the three carbon of one pi system and three carbon of the another pi system. So now, this resonance and bond shifting gives six membered cyclic intermediate. Here we can see the bond formation takes place at 3 comma 3. That is what we call as 3 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. So while shifting the bonds, it gives six number cyclic intermediate. So here bond broken takes place. So here one new bond is formed. So this gives 2 comma 6 diene is a product. So this is concerted mechanism because in concerted mechanism the intermediate, the bond broken and bond formation takes place simultaneously. So this is co-rearrangement mechanism. Now we are going to discuss the stereochemistry of co-rearrangement. So that I am taking here the cis diene compound. So why we call this cis diene? Because in our compound have two double bonds and we can see the methyl substitutions. The two methyl groups present in the same side. So that is what we call as this is cis compound. So this cis compound undergoes Cope rearrangement. Uh, generally, the, this compound can be converted to the chair form because chair form is highly stable compared to board form. So I drawn here the chair form. Since two methyl groups above the plane, so one is axial position above and one other one is above equatorial position. So this is axial and this is equatorial. So that is called as cis compound. So this undergoes rearrangement. It gives six numbered cyclic intermediate. Once cyclic intermediate formed, directly it gives the product. And here we can see this bond moving here, and this moving here, and this moving here. So we can we can get the product of this. So here the stereochemistry is nothing but here the double bond is formed. So we can the, here the geometrical isomerism is created. So we can here we can see one is methyl group and another hydrogen. So here we can see one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the double bond present between th second carbon and third carbon. So the second carbon is nothing but that is Z geometric isomerism. Z means cis position because here methyl group and the carbon group present in the same side. Same side means cis, which means Z. So 2 Z. And see the sixth carbon again double bond present. Uh, the sixth carbon, uh, the methyl carbon, I mean the carbon chain like here and methyl group is present here. See, these two groups opposite to each other. Since this is opposite to each other, that is transform. So that is what, if it is transform, we can say that is E form. Okay, so that is what 6E. So, if we taking cis diene like this compound, we will get cis and trans product. This is called a stereochemistry of Cope rearrangement. Now we are going to discuss 
uh, special type of cope rearrangement that is nothing but oxy cope rearrangement. Oxy cope rearrangement is nothing but uh, the diene compound which have the substitution hydroxyl group, especially the third position. See the diene compound 1, 2, 3. If the third substitute, uh, third carbon have the substitutions like hydroxyl, this undergoes oxy cope rearrangement. Uh, while upon heating, uh, I already told this. So, uh, like this forms, uh, inner form is formed. Uh, so, this inner form is highly unstable because uh, it undergoes uh, uh, tautomerization. Because uh, compared to this inner form, the keto form is highly stable. So, uh, the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen moves to here. Now, the carbo carbon carries the anion, negative charge. So, this hydro hydrogens move to the carbon so we will get the compound of keto form so this is a special type of uh, cope rearrangement that is called as oxy cope rearrangement now we will move to the examples of cope rearrangement the first compound is uh, you can see cyclopropane capped 1 comma 5 diene so this undergoes cope rearrangement it gives 7 number diene compound uh, here it is the reactive site because here the bond movement takes place here, Claisen, sorry, cope rearrangement takes place here, it gives a product while heating. And next one is uh, dec uh, decaline product, uh, derivative, uh, the decaline derivative, especially hydroxyl group, while upon heating, it gives inner form. This is a special case of oxy cope rearrangement. So, this gives inner form, since inner form is very less stable, so the equilibrium shifted towards the keto form, that is highly stable form. And third one is uh, the nitrogen diene compound undergoes uh, cope rearrangement while heating it gives a product. If uh, nitrogen is present in the 1,5 diene compound, it is called as azo cope rearrangement. So this is the examples of cope rearrangement. Now we will move to the review of cope rearrangement. Since this is the 3 comma 3 sigma trophic rearrangement and this is concerted mechanism uh, we know 6 membered intermediate is formed now that is concerted mechanism and if the substitution is hydroxyl group that is called as oxy cope rearrangement uh, if imine or nitrogen group is present or nitrogen substitution is present that is called as aza cope rearrangement and this cope rearrangement is similar to the Claisen rearrangement